here bringing another One Piece Treasure Cruise video. Uh, what we're doing is we're going to be going over the um, 25 st stamina Sanji run here. And this is the fastest team that I've come up with. It does have, you know, like five legends on it. So what can you do? <laughs> or four legends on it, I guess. So it's almost a full legend team. Definitely a, um, a very strong team. So I won't deny that most people won't be able to make this team. But um, as you can see, we can just blow through most of the turns here. And we don't actually have to worry about doing anything. Um, on any stage uh, early on, so that's very, very nice. So uh, here we go. Uh, as long as you have a max animal friend, this actually goes through this entire bit of content extremely quick. Um, I don't think I could make a faster team because you just, there's no stalling, you do massive amounts of damage, and it is just a beast, beast team. Um, Dofi, Aboa, and Cavendish are all beat sticks, so just realize that if you are trying to bring them, it doesn't really matter. You're not gonna have to worry about them at all. Um, you're just blowing through the content as quick as you can, and it is just phenomenal in the speed. Um, even on the last turn, when you get completely cucked with the, the mechanics here, you can see we just blow through it, and there's no time at all. The 35 stamina Zoro version of the Straw Hat Showdown. Um, I've been trying to kind of rack in my brains, trying to find a team that works really, really well for this, and I'm kind of actually kind of empty. Um, if you don't have the new VV, this is a very annoying event, and the Luffy part of the event, as well as the Zoro part of the event, are extremely annoying to make perfect teams for. So, just know if you are having a little bit of difficulty uh, making teams, you are not alone. There are plenty of people that I know that are in the stream, outside the stream, that are having tons of difficulty making perfect teams. But, that said, um... VV is not an easy to pull. I do have people that are um, telling me as well they've done as many as nine multis on the current banner and not pulled VV, which is a very you know discouraging, concerning thing to have to happen. So um, if you are looking to try to pull VV, just know that if you don't pull it, VV, it is okay. Um, apparently, it is not a very easy card to pull. <laughs> so. Um, the reason I'm using the characters in this team is that uh, Garp and Hody are both boosted. Kuma is kind of necessary for this, but everybody else is kind of... Uh, Garp and Hody are just whatever. You can bring them, you don't have to, whatever. Um, it makes it a little bit easy for right here, uh, where you can see if you're blinded and you have the Usopp stage, you kind of just blow through it and you don't have to worry about anything. That part is nice. Um, and then uh, if you time the Luffy special just right, you can see that you get your orbs back and you're able to have some that orbs into the final room. Now the reason we're bringing Wicca for this is uh, Wicca is actually a perfect uh, combo hit character for this and will actually um, be on a 3, 5, and 9, I think 9 3 cooldown. So uh, because she has a tiered special, it's really helpful for this event and makes it really easy. So um, you have almost no difficulty whatsoever. Now you have two options here. Uh, first option is you can do a little damage. Second option you can just double tap a Wicca. <laughs> just take a hit from him and then just move on. I, I opt for the, hey, let's just, you know, not do anything and then just kill him in like three hits here. It's way it's way easier just to just kill him with two Lucha hits here with a Kuma special. Super, super fast. You don't have to worry about anything. Uh, don't pop the Hody special. If you were wondering if it was a good idea to pop Hody, do not pop the Hody special. Um, Hody is there just as a beat stick, so uh, just realize that this team is pretty fast. It's not you know amazing, but it does you know get around most of the obstacles and make it so that it you don't have to worry about as much. I'm Second Poco again. Uh, thank you so much for watching. I uh, hope you enjoy all the videos. We're using a full driven team with Fujitora and Cavendish and Legend Dofi. You can use Ray Dofi. That's totally fine. Um, this is just gives me more guarantee orbs. So uh, whatever you want to use is fine. Uh, this team is not the fastest team. <laughs> I would say there are probably better teams, especially if you have Vivi. Vivi looks like is the the linchpin for all of these, and um, it looks like she's probably the best unit you can bring. So if you do have the Vivi, uh, make sure you're just using her, and it doesn't really matter what team you use then, because your life is easy at that point. But for those of us who didn't pull Vivi, we gotta make this a little bit more improvisational and try to figure out some very interesting teams for this stuff. So here we go. We're gonna have to take another hit from this lady. Um, <laughs> this team also has a retarded amount of HP, which is really fun to play with. So we're going in room three here. We got Jimbei, lucky us. 
The Jinbei looks like every time you get him, he's gonna just change your whole right side into badly matching orbs. And looks like he has increasing amounts of HP depending on which um, which Jinbei you get. So like on the on the Sanji stage, he has like almost no damage, or no HP. And you can see on this stage, he does have some HP damage. So um, we got a uh, Chopper for stage here. Um, I usually get the uh, the Frankie. Chopper is probably the easier of the two stages. Um, just no real reason, just easier. Um, I'm gonna have pop our Fuji. We're gonna pop uh, Fuji special as well here, just to get everything a little bit lower. And then we're gonna start uh, chipping away at these buddies in the back. Now you can eat meat orbs, you can save the meat orbs, whatever you want to do. Uh, Cavendish is gonna kill. Um, this guy pretty much without issue and we go into the room here with luffy uh you can see we get one hp cut with this fuji um on the luffy so at least you get something out of it as well you need uh paralysis for three turns and you need all your um characters locked for multiple turns as well uh luffy's gonna have an armor buff on himself as well as the um the dugong in the back they, luffy has about 2.75 million hp and the dugong has a lot less so what I, my strategy for this is I usually just take a couple hits and then um, I actually don't kill the dugongs at all until I'm ready. And um, I would say that the smartest thing to do is to just go all in on Luffy and then if you have enough to kill a dugong after, great. Most of the time you do, especially with this team, you'll have like insane quantities of damage here. So you should be like way over over top on the damage here. As you can see, totally fine. Even if you miss perfects, you were okay. Now Luffy, when he dies, does 19,000 damage. And um, ow, <laughs> 19,000 uh, on death. So if you do have somebody who reduces damage, um, you that would be a great thing to bring here. Uh, Smoker is a good character. There's a bunch of characters that reduce damage that are amazing to bring for this, so definitely uh, think about bringing one of those. But since we still have a two-turn Caesar breath here, we're able to kill these ads inside, no problem at all. Well, I'm Sekopoku, guys. Uh, thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the Luffy, not Zoro. I said Zoro earlier. Sorry. Uh, the Luffy version of this fight. Uh, have a great rest of your day. Peace.